All the good citizens of Harmony will experience pain beyond their worst nightmares. I can't bring my Timmy back. Although the rest of the dead people in this town seem to keep coming back to life. But I can cause everyone to suffer the way I suffered over losing my Timmy. And if there's one sure way to hurt people, it's through the heart. There's nothing like the pain of a broken heart. And when I'm finished, all the lovers' hearts in harmony will be broken, shattered into smithereens. Especially yours. <laughs> oh, yes, I've spent lifetimes trying to keep Sheridan and Louise apart. But this time, it will be sweet. <laughs> because not only those two and Antonia will suffer, everyone around them will suffer as well. <laughs> sure, no, I won't. More than anything, I, I just want you to be happy. And if being with my brother will make you happy, then I wish you well. I love you so much. I just want you to be happy. Oh, wait. Louise, this is not what I'm saying. <sighs> when I was Diana, yes, I fell in love with Brian. But I kept having dreams of you. I couldn't remember your name. I couldn't remember where we were together. But I knew your face. I knew that you were the man I loved. It was as if you were a part of my soul. Diana fell in love with Brian. But I'm Sheridan. Even though I love Brian very much, I know in my heart, and in my soul, no matter who I am, the man that I love the most, you are always with me. Sharon, are you saying? I've always known who I love the most. I want to spend the rest of my life with you, the man that I want to be with forever. You chose me. You chose me? <laughs> yes, Louise. I love you. I love you. Love you, too. I will love you forever. <laughs> I am so happy for you and so afraid at the same time. Because when Antonio finds out that he's lost the woman he loves and to his own brother, it could destroy our family. Look, man. I know that you can't be with Teresa. And I know that you can't get past all the secrets that she kept from you. And the lies that she told. Right. But Ethan... I saw your face, man. I saw the way you were looking at her. Now, no way am I saying that what she did was right, okay? I, I, I think Theresa should have been honest with you about everything from the start, okay? She should have been totally straight up. Same way me and Whitney need to be honest with Simone about our relationship. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, well, sometimes it's not that easy. You know, you love somebody, you want to protect them, you know? Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't want to hurt him. That's why Teresa was lying to you, man. She, she loved you, and, and, and she damn near died for you on account of that love. I know you still love her. I do love her. I never said I didn't. But it won't work for us. People don't change, Chad. Okay. And you got to ask yourself, you know, how long can you... Turn your back on your love for Teresa. How long can you deny what's in your heart, man? Because you know what? It's not going away. So I'm going to ask you again. Do you really think that you can live the rest of your life without Teresa? 
at all. Well, Cook finally has the baby's bottle ready. You know what? You ain't got to answer me right away. Right? But sooner or later, you're going to have to answer that question for yourself. Holding on to the man you love is the most important thing in the world. I'm not going to give up on Ethan, and I am not going to let anyone keep me from getting him back. I don't want to sound heartless, but if it means that I have to roll over Gwen's dead body to get him back, I'll do it. Yeah, we'll just see about that, bitch. Well, aren't you going to say something? That's not real, what you just showed me. <sighs> of course it's not real, dummy. Not yet. I told you. It's a glimpse into your future. But just you wait, Miss Goody Two-Shoes. You're gonna love what happens next. <sighs> Simone, if you want to really be with Chad, you're gonna have to grow up. If you mean that I have to learn how to cheat and lie, then I'll never grow up. Okay, fine, suit yourself. But you know what? When you want to hold on to someone you love, you can't always play fair. Sometimes you have to plot and scheme. Everyone does it. No, okay. Not everyone turns evil to get what they want. And you know what? It's really easy to be good when you have what you want, Simone. But just wait till someone tries to take him away from you. See how far you go then. And come back to me and tell me how evil I am. Hey. I got you guys some sodas anyway. Great. <laughs> I, I, I tried to get Charity some flowers, but the florist was closed, so I guess I'm going to go back in the morning. That's sweet, Miguel. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to brighten her room up, make her feel better. <laughs> Charity. Oh, my God. <sighs> well, Ma. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you didn't. In fact, I'm glad you were here. Because... I have some news. Wonderful news. I know. I heard. And I'm very happy for you, Louise. I know how much you love Sheridan. Yeah. And how much I love Louise. Um, I also know how much Antonio loves you. I don't want to hurt Antonio. I love him too, Pilar. I know. I believe that. I don't see how he can't be hurt. I just don't know how I'm going to tell him. Antonio and I had plans for our life together, future. Now I'm going to take that all away from him. Mother, I have got great news. Antonio still thinks he's marrying Charity. Uh, duh. I already figured that out when he was talking about the double wedding. You're the word that tells me I'm senile. You are missing the point, yeah. Mother. There is a point, along with that Cheshire Cat grin you got going on your face. Sheridan hasn't broken off her engagement to Antonio. She hasn't told him about Louise. Not only that, Antonio says that Louise knows that he and Sheridan are getting married, and he thinks Louise is going to be the best man. I've already heard all of this. I was sitting right outside the cubicle. And I know what's going on in that pathetic head of yours and where you're headed. You still think you have another chance with the waist. It is not over yet, Mother. I can still get Louise back. We'll see. Louise Antonio and Sheridan. That's a good broth, but it's not exactly soup yet. Yeah, I think Bess would add a little zing to this. I'll put her in the pot too. <laughs> add a little grief to an already perfectly awful situation made even more wretched by that dreadful old mother of Bess. <laughs> oh, 
Now these three really are a hoot. I can't wait to see what happens to them. <laughs> Especially when the truth about Chad comes out. The truth that no one else knows. <laughs> oh, Simone will be the least of Whitney's problems then. The Russells will never get over it. The perfect little life that Dr. Eve has created for herself and her clan will come crashing down around her ears. <laughs> oh, playing the triangle again, are we? Where were you all this time? Setting some things in motion. What things? Oh, thought I'd stir up the old cauldron with Charity Miguel. Give Kay a little hope. You mean getting Miguel? But how? Most of it. The girl has to keep a couple things up her sleeve, you know. <laughs> well, this is a surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even I didn't think of that. <laughs> this is profoundly evil. I'm genuinely impressed. Oh, it's so you should be. <laughs> Charity and Mickey have to be destroyed. Forever. <laughs> and Kay's life won't be a picnic <laughs> oh, That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? Why are you out of bed? Did you fall? Pain. Hey, wh what pain? Are you hurt? Should I call Dr. Russell? No. No. Everybody's pain and suffering. The zombie, she said... She said what, what, what did she say? Zombie? What zombie? Suffering. Hey, Jerry, you can't get upset like this, okay? It's not good for you. We heard you scream. Can you tell us what happened? The zombie, she was here. What is she talking about, zombie? She must mean the evil Charity double we saw in the cave. Look, it's all right, Charity. She's gone. Destroyed. No, she's not gone, Miguel. No, she was here. She was telling me about the future. Your future? She said that, that there's more pain, more suffering to come, Miguel. She said it was only going to get worse for us. I don't want to hurt Gwen. But it's unavoidable. I simply will not allow her to stand between Ethan and me. Just like you cannot let Simone stand between you and Chad. Not this time. I won't let you steal Ethan away from me so easily this time. I will fight you tooth and nail, Teresa. Gwen? Hi, Ethan. I, um, I just got up and I was coming to see you. Chad and I just went down to, uh, get a baby bottle for little Ethan. Huh? You ready to go and see Mommy? Huh? Have a give you your bottle? Can you guess which one of us is really hungry? Oh, <laughs> uh, I can't. wish I could nurse him. Not until all the drugs that you were given in the prison earlier are out of your system. I know. Here you go. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Hello there. Oh, thank you. Yep, Mommy's here. Gonna feed you. Don't worry. see people do that, but I, I don't know why, do you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a check the temperature. And, and, and why on the wrist? Because it's, it's sensitive. And you can tell immediately if the milk's too hot. That way the baby doesn't get burned. Yeah, you certainly know a lot about babies. I had a married friend in law school. I learned a lot watching him and his wife. Well... There's a lot I need to learn, and I'm really glad you're here to help me. You'll be fine. You'll be more than fine. You'll be a wonderful mother. You already are.
Is it too hot? Perfect. Would you like to see little Ethan? Yeah, I'd love to. execution but she's definitely going to wish she was dead once I'm through with her it looks like you've gotten into the spirit of things again Tad you finally stopped moping about Timmy I'll never get over losing Timmy I miss the lad more than I can say but I have to admit that this is helping to ease some of the pain <laughs> yes you have that sparkle back in your eye. <laughs> well, there's nothing like destroying lives to cure what ails one, is there? <laughs> yes, it's nice to be up to my old tricks again, raining pain and heartache down on everyone, ruining lives, destroying families. <laughs> <laughs> you were one of the best, no doubt. And now I'm back, and better than ever. <laughs> So many hearts to break, so little time. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, zombie. All oh, these triangles are just the ones I've been working on tonight. There are more. Oh, yes. There are all sorts of relationships in harmony just waiting for me to destroy them. And I am going to accommodate them, each and every one. <laughs> oh, there won't be a shred of happiness left in this town when I'm finished. Misery will run rampant. <laughs> And Zombie started to show me these terrible things of the future. What do you mean she showed you? On the heart monitor, like a TV. Yeah. She showed me images of the future. You were leaving me for Kay. Yeah. Better luck next time, Charity. It was awful, Miguel. It was just like the premonition I had of the two of you. No, no, no. It, it was just a nightmare. It's not true. Then she started to show me more you, things, you, more images. You need to try to rest. The worst things imaginable, Miguel. I couldn't bear it. That's when I screamed. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm here now. I'm here now. It's okay. The zombie told me to have to wait to see the rest until it happened, but that I should prepare myself because it was worse than anything I could ever imagine. Shh. Miguel, it's okay. I'm scared. Look, it, I, just, just, just put it out of your mind. Okay? It's not real. It was real, Miguel. The zombie was here. Charity, look around the room. There's no zombie here. Okay, you were dreaming. You were just having a horrible nightmare. No, Miguel. It wasn't a nightmare. The zombie was here. I know the zombie was here. I know it, too. I'm just sorry I missed it. same thing it's killing me to think that we're gonna have to hurt Simone so badly I mean we both saw how happy she was thinking that you loved her but I don't but she believes that you do Chad. listen with me she loves you with all of her heart and I love you and it's tearing me apart to think that I would have to take that happiness away from her I would do anything to avoid that I have a bad feeling I know exactly where this conversation is headed. Chad, you know. You know what, Whitney, look, you broke it off between us once before because you didn't want to hurt Simona, right? Well, I'm not gonna let you do that again. Okay, not now, because 
We love each other, all right? We have a love. It's real, and it's supposed to last forever, and you just can't walk away from that, okay? You can't. You're really good with him. He is no trouble. <sighs> Lucky for me, you're here to help with little Ethan. Teresa, I find it really hard to believe that you never babysat growing up. Oh, oh I, I, I did. A few times. I, but you didn't change any diapers or, or give a baby a bottle, all the things that you're asking Ethan to do? Um, no, I... Oh, come on, Ethan, I'm sorry. But this is making me sick. It is so obvious that she's up to her old tricks. She's lying to you and manipulating you. It's the same thing all over again. I know what this will do to Antonio. It'll hurt him so much. His heart will be broken. Well, you don't have to tell him alone, right? We'll tell him together. But I should No, be we'll just go in there and I'll explain to him that you and I were in love and we were engaged to be married long before you two even met. Look, I care about my brother. And, yeah, he's going to be disappointed and hurt, but I'm sure eventually he's going to understand. I pray you're right, me. Yeah. You know what? I'll go talk to Dr. Russell right now. I'll ask her if she thinks it's okay to break the news to Antonio right now. All right? I'm sorry, Pilar. I love both your sons. I don't want to hurt either of them. I know that. Be with both of them. So if I have to make a choice, then I choose Louise. <laughs> you lose again, Beth, don't you, boy? Are you on some wicked losing streak? Keep it quiet. And Sheridan. <laughs> Look how quickly she forgot about her promise to Antonio. <laughs> Try to listen. Okay? You have already heard the good part. Sheridan's going back with Louise. Tra la. Would you please? Means you bet we get started. Huh? Back out in the cold again, doesn't it? I know Luis and Antonio already have a strained relationship. It goes back a long way. I'm just afraid this is going to make things worse. I mean, this is something that could tear the family apart. You fear that too, don't you? Please, I, I want you to be honest with me. Yes, I am afraid it will tear us apart. I know the tempers that Antonio and Louise have and how strong their commitment is to the women they love. But what I'm most afraid of is... Is what? Please, Pilar, you can tell me. What I'm most afraid of is that between their passion and their tempers, my sons... My sons could kill each other. I know you don't want to hurt Simone. I don't want to hurt her either. But to just walk away from me? No, no, I can't let you do it again. I can't let you just turn your back on what we got going here. We love each other. We made love. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you, you lost me. What I'm trying to say is that I have a terrible decision to make. I either have to give up the man that I love or I have to hurt my sister. And I've come to the realization that I can't give you up. Chad, I love you too much. I love you. <laughs> I feel so selfish, but I just can't give you up. Well, tell me, tell me, how is that being selfish, huh? Because you know Simone's gonna get hurt even if you and I weren't together. Because I don't love her. I, and there's no way she and I could ever be a couple. It's just not going to happen. I'm just afraid that Simone won't see it that way. Well, she's going to have to. Hey, look. Don't worry, all right? No matter what, it's all going to be all right. We're going to get through this. All we got to do is tell Simone the truth. Because we can't go on like this. 
have no idea what you're talking about, Gwen. Well, even that's a lie. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Only this time, it's not going to work. You're lying and you're manipulating Ethan. It won't work and neither will your lies. Now, you're starting to make me angry, Gwen. Playing this stupid I'm so helpless game like you don't know what to do with a baby. Ethan, she knows what to do with a baby. She's playing you for a fool. That is not true! She's trying to draw you back in. It's not like what Gwen is making it out to be, Ethan. Oh, well, then please, Teresa, tell us what it is like. Enlighten us. didn't mean for any of this to happen. Hey, of course you didn't. Hey, don't blame yourself, Sheridan. It's not anyone's fault. It's just a cruel twist of fate. Just the thought of either of them being hurt. Well, that's unavoidable. It's going to happen. You know, I wish I could take the pain on myself. I don't want to hurt Antonio. Like I said, I love him very much. It's just that the love I have for Luis is so different. I know. <laughs> I've seen that. Luis is in my heart, in my soul. Even when I had no memory of who I was, I remembered him. Yeah. I love. I thought he was dead. So you moved on with your life. Nobody blames you for that, Sheridan. If I had been more like Luis, then none of this would have happened. What do you mean? Well, Luis was faithful to me. He stayed true to me and my memory. He didn't go off and find another one. Awful things have happened, you know. I just wish we could have well, some good news, just a small thing. Well, actually, I do have some good news. I got engaged. Oh. Beth and I are going to be married. It's wonderful, you know. Miguel, the zombie was here. She showed me the future, our future, and you were leaving me for Kay. No, that is never going to happen, Charity. Okay, every, everything that you saw, it, it was all in your mind. Probably because of the medication you were on. That's probably it. No! She was here. She was right where Kay is. Charity. The, you have to believe me. The zombie is gone, Charity. You destroyed her at the cave. She's not coming back. She did. But listen to me. Okay, none of what you saw or what you think you saw is going to happen. But it could. No, it won't. Tell her, okay? M what? That it's not true, okay? That we're never going to be together, that we're never going to be a couple. That I would never leave her to be with you. Oh, yes, sir. It's good to be back in action. Yep, keeps you young. Mm, a real tonic. For a while there. You were starting to look your age, but now, not a day over 300. <laughs> it's kind of you to say so. Oh, Tabitha Lennox. Back where she belongs. <laughs> Stirring up trouble, causing misery and mayhem. So, what do you have next on the docket? What do you have in store for the goody good folks of Harmony? Well, I have a few things brewing. Mm. But I don't think I'll launch all my schemes at once. I want to stretch out my fun. Mm, yes, this is <laughs> impressive, but a bit boring. What? Uh, tiresome. Really? Yeah. Why not just up the stakes a bit? Oh, you mean you think this is nickel and dime stuff? Well, could use a little jazzing up. Yeah. Well, there is something. It's a little unsettling, but not too overt. It'll certainly get their attention. Tell me more. <laughs> no, zombie, you'll just have to wait. <laughs> Don't be a tease, Tabs. Tell me what it is. Don't you be impatient. Why wait? Things are on the dull side right now.
voilà. Hmm, interesting. Uh, what's that? You'll see. Blow, blow, blow them away. Blow through the lives of the hunted prey. Ravage their hearts and plague their minds. Tear through them all this very same night. Chill their souls with all your might. Listen to her, Ethan. It's, it's not like what she's saying. Oh, no, no, no. You can't talk your way out of this one, Teresa. It's really obvious what she's doing, Ethan. She's got manipulating down to a science. No, no, it's, it's not. It's not like that. Well, then tell us what it is like, Teresa. Go on. You're not saying anything. I, I mean, I don't... Where did that come from? Oh, my goodness. usually pick up like that in the middle of the middle. What happened? It was freezing. Yeah, we felt the blast of cold air. And the wind just suddenly kicked up. Um, Whitney. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm glad you're here. I, I just wanted to ask you a few questions. Did you and Teresa ever babysit when you were growing up? Um, yeah, all the time. Why? Really? Of course. I mean, that's that's the way we earn money in high school. Uh, did you ever look after infants and babies? Of course. What's going on? It seems like the same old thing. Lies and manipulation. No, 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 even... Please. No, look, Teresa, look. The simple truth is, I still can't trust you. No, no, please, you... you, you... No, it's... It's late. I'm going to bed. You know, I was right. People don't change. No, please, let me explain. Yes, please do, Teresa. I would love to hear it. I know everyone else is dying to hear your explanation. Tell her, Kay. I tell Charity that what she saw in her nightmare isn't true. There, there's no way that I am going to leave you for Kay. And she knows that, don't you, Kay? Of course she does. My Kay and I are just friends. Buddies. I mean, so none of what you saw or what you think you saw is going to happen. Tell her, Kay. Woo! What's going on? It must be a draft from someone leaving the door open. Pretty strong draft. Too cold. There. It's okay now. You were gonna say something, Kay? I am. Um, well, yes. Kay. Okay. Kay, mm -hmm. just just tell Cherry that she has nothing to worry about. All right, that we're never going to be together as a couple. Don't worry, Charity. Everything will work out. Just the way it's supposed to. Reese, what was that wind? I don't know. It's damn cold, though. It's like a winter wind. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. I just hope it's not evil returning. Evil? No. I'm sure someone just left the door open, that's all. I don't know. It was pretty strong. Well, I still haven't found Eve, so... Wait, that can wait. Right now, you need to go and talk with Sheridan. Why? What's going on? You haven't told her about Pat. Oh, man. With everything going on with Antonio, I just totally forgot. You have to tell her, Luis. I mean, she thinks that you weren't involved with anyone else while she was gone. Um, oh, I feel terrible. 
shared, and she's feeling very guilty about being involved with Antonio, and she thinks that you were faithful to her the whole time she was gone. I have to tell her about Beth. And she has to hear it from me, because if she hears it from someone else, she might think that I was hiding it from her. Such a strange chill. Sheridan. Beth? Hi. <laughs> wow, it's so good to see you. I'm so glad you're alive and back with us. <laughs> Thank you. It, it's so good to be back. <sighs> you know, when Louise liked it, you weren't dead. I mean, I was flabbergasted. It was such wonderful news. <laughs> You saw Luis tonight? Uh-huh. Well, when he came to my house to tell me you were back and uh, to break off our engagement. Your what? Our engagement. Oh, my gosh. You didn't know. Well, when you were gone, um, Luis and I, we fell in love all over again, and he asked me to marry him. Sheridan, we were engaged. You are a wicked girl, Beth. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Saturday at 7.